Today we're going to discuss achieving higher consciousness. I want to start off today's episode in case I haven't said it before by saying thank you. You are what has made this series possible and successful. We're coming closer to the end of the Self Awareness 101 series, but again, as we've shared in past episodes, our communication is not going to end. We're going to be going into other series that will continue with expanding on the ideas of things that we've already talked about in the Self Awareness 101 series. And if you're just joining us on this video, welcome. Glad to have you with us, and I thank you also for joining us. Today, I want to share a little bit about achieving higher consciousness in relation to how the journey of self awareness leads many of us to that place. You know, in my own journey of self awareness, it started out as a very selfish act. As you may have heard me mention in previous videos, it was all about stopping my own insanity because my life had become so chaotic and so filled with turmoil. And the self awareness was really about just finding a way to get through the day sane. Over time, that transformed. And I believe that it came from all of the different skills that we've shared in this series of beginning to explore my belief systems, of beginning to recognize that I'm the person who chooses to attach meaning to anything that happens in my life. It came from learning to become a better listener. It came from exploring meditation. Through all of those processes and through all of that, becoming self aware, I started finding myself becoming more universally aware. Maybe that's the right term. I started recognizing the things that I had heard about as a child but didn't really understand, meaning, as you begin achieving higher consciousness, it makes sense of how we are all connected. And I don't just mean as human beings, I mean with our environment, with the plants, with the animals, with the air, with the water. For those of you who have, have seen other episodes of Self Awareness 101, you may have heard me reference how the beginning of my journey came from looking at and exploring Native American Indian approaches to living. I was fascinated by it. I actually have a little bit of Native American blood in my, in my heritage. And when I got to that point of questioning the things that I had been taught in my own perception of the world, and somebody said, what do you believe in? What makes sense to you when it comes to higher consciousness and spirituality and these types of things? The first thing was Native American approaches to living. They had a respect for everything being connected, that no plant, no animal was too small, too insignificant to be acknowledged for its contribution to their life, and that they were in no greater position to disrespect any other being or plant or energy for it being less involved in their health and their growth as a human and as, as a entity, as a community. That fascinated me that, you know, before they would plant, they would bless the seeds and they would pray to the gods, the multiple gods that they had to bless the planting and to bring the harvest. And they would bless the plants before they would harvest them. And they saw everything in the world that it was designed to contribute to them and they were designed to contribute back. Now, the logical side of my brain struggled with just accepting these ancient perceptions of the world. So I had to look for scientific foundations for things. So I started exploring the, the high school level knowledge of science that I had and the basic breakdown that if you look at everything when it's broken down to its simplest form, beyond protons, neutrons, electrons, it's energy. And I started exploring Newtonian physics and quantum physics and zero-point field theory. And trust me, I did not become an expert in any of those. I just looked at them to question 
what I believed in and what I didn't believe in. One of the biggest breakthroughs in my journey of self-awareness has been that compelling drive to question everything. I no longer take things at just face value at what people tell me I should believe. And I encourage you to question everything. Question what I tell you. Don't take it at face value. Explore it. Look into it. How does it affect you? What resonates with you and what doesn't? Question everything in your life. Question your belief systems. Question how you perceive the world. Question what you've been taught about your culture, society, government, religion. That leads to so many possibilities. It leads to you getting more certainty in some of the beliefs that you have because you're no longer just taking it blindly. You actually can say with certainty and congruency when someone asks you, well, why do you believe X? And you go, well, the reason is boom, boom, boom. You've questioned it. You've gotten your references. And there are going to be times where by asking these questions, you're going to change your perception. It may be about your belief systems about yourself or about the things that you were taught. It may be the perceptions of your model of the world. And that's okay. It can be scary at times, but it's, it's about becoming more truly aware of yourself and how it allows you to interact with the rest of society, with the rest of the world. You know, my beliefs don't have to be yours. I do believe that we are interconnected with everything, that everything that we do to hurt our environment hurts us and hurts everyone else on the planet. I do believe that there are things that we're taught culturally, religiously from our governments that are BS and they don't serve us in growing as the people that we truly have the capabilities to grow into. But you don't have to believe those things. I just want to share with you that as you begin achieving higher consciousness, you're going to open yourself up to new possibilities, to new ways of looking at things. You know, there's no real exercise for this week's episode. What I really wanted to accomplish in this episode was refer you back to some of the episodes that we've done that you may have watched or you're may not even aware of yet and ask you if you've recognized that by exploring your belief systems, by doing some of the basic meditation exercises, by looking at the judgments that you place or by understanding what fear is and how you deal with fear, if it's taken you beyond that selfish point of self-awareness and started moving you into achieving higher consciousness and starting to recognize that when you are communicating with another person, listening is so important. When you are getting ready to choose what you're going to do with that garbage, are you just going to throw it out your window of your car or are you actually going to be more responsible with it? Has this journey of self-awareness led you to higher consciousness in those areas. I'm not talking about you turning into a yogi or a guru. I'm just curious what's happened for you at this point. So again, there's no exercise for this week, but again, I do invite you to stop by the forums and share with us what has transpired for you at this point. And if you're just joining us, stop by and introduce yourself. As always, I look forward to your feedback. I look forward to connecting again soon. Take care. For a transcription of the video you just watched, more videos and related articles, visit yourdailylifecoach.com. To comment on this video, select Discussion Forums on any page of our website.